Welcome to part two of sending emails with Gmail. Where we left off is we had just um, forwarded a message and then saved into our drafts rather than sending it. So as you can see in my inbox, it's indicating to me that we've had a message from Internet Lessons and we have done a draft as a reply. So if we click on draft folder here, or draft label should I say, you can see the message which we started writing but then decided not to send but to save into drafts for later. So what we can do now is we can continue editing it. So what we can do is we can start typing a message. I thought Okay, so I finished the message I want to send, and now I will send it. Well, I'm not actually going to send it because I made up this email address, but obviously you'd send and then it would send it as per normal. What I would do instead for that reason is I will discard the message. So now it will delete it. So it's gone from our drafts folder as well. Another useful little thing you can do is if you have a very important message that you've had received from somebody and perhaps you've read it thought, oh, I must come back to that and read that again, what you can do is you can actually star the message. So what I've done is I've just clicked on these faint star shapes down the side of the messages and that will show you, you click on one of those and it will bring up a little star. So if you've got lots of messages but you want to indicate some that are more important than others or you want to come back to them, you can indicate how important they are with a star. The other thing you might want to be able to do is to delete messages. And because I've got three um, standard messages from Gmail, I actually want to get rid of those. So what I would do is I would click in the square by the side of each of the messages. And then I would click delete. Now they're not completely gone, they are in my trash folder. As you can see, my trash isn't written in one of these lists here of folders, or labels as they're called in Gmail. But if I click on more here, and scroll down a bit so you can see, you have trash. So if I click on there, there we go, there are all my deleted messages. I sort of treat this folder as a little bit like a... Um, trash bin or a um, waste paper basket in the corner of your room, it doesn't actually be emptied completely and take you take it out to the binman. So it will remain there in case you realise there's something you want. But if you want to delete them forever, you can click on the empty trash now folder. So now your trash is empty. Or it says there, if you don't empty it automatically yourself, or it will automatically be completely emptied in within 30 days by Gmail. That concludes our tutorial. If you want to see any more of our tutorials, then please go to our website, www.internet-lessons.com. See you again soon. Bye-bye.